Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gold text effect. There are at least a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to make a copy of my text holding down Option. And next we're going to go to Swatches panel or go to Window Swatches to open it. In this flyout here in the top right, you can go to Open Swatch Library and choose Metal. This will give you some pre-selected metal color groups. What we also want, we go back to Open Swatch Library, Gradients, Metals. Here we have a selection of metal gradients. In the flyout, I've adjusted the thumbnail so you can see it larger. In order to get this text to have a gradient, I'm going to make a live copy. With your text selected, you can either Command Shift O is the shortcut or go to Type Create Outlines. And now we can select one of these metal gradients. Make sure you are on the solid background color, not stroke. But you can make a stroke gradient also. Next, you're going to want to open your gradient palette by going to Window, Gradient. And here you can modify any of these colors. If you select a point, you can hold down Option and select a color from your either the color picker or from your swatches or from this new metal color swatch palette. You can come here to the gradient tool by tapping G on the keyboard and here we can draw whichever direction our gradient should be. If you want it at an angle, you can also change that angle manually here and you can choose whether it's a radial gradient or a freeform gradient. I'm going to go with linear. You can also change the positions of these. Another way to create a gold text effect, I'm going to make a copy of both of these. Your text is still going to need to be paths or outlines. And you can find an image of a gold background or whatever metallic color. Copy the image, paste onto your artboard. If you're on a PC, you're going to have to save the image to your computer to place. Next, you're going to send this image to the back. Select your text and make it a compound path by going to Object, Compound Path, Make, or Command-8. Now select your text and the background, and you can either tap Command-7 or go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. If you double-click on the image, you can reposition it and resize it. If you look in your Layers palette, you can select the image that way as well. So here's our image layer. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.